All right, let's go. Today we're going to be learning about similar figures or similar shapes. We are going to take notes together in this video. So if I do something in a certain color, you need to copy the same exact thing on your own notes page. The things we need to talk about before we get started are the definitions of what similar figures are. If you look at the top of your page, it says, these are the ways we determine if two things are similar. And we're starting out with two separate triangles. Similar shapes have the same si shape. So we're going to underline, circle, highlight that. They are the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. They don't have to be exactly the same size, but you can see that we have two triangles. When you have similar shapes, you also have two other things. Corresponding angles, corresponding sides. In my video, those things are already highlighted. So if you have a yellow crayon, colored pencil, or marker, you could highlight these important vocabulary words for your notes. If you don't have yellow, you can use some other color. The next little paragraph you see has a symbol. This little symbol right here is kind of like a sideways S and it means similar to. We are going to be using this symbol today to show which sides are similar and which angles are similar or actually congruent to one another. On your copy of notes, the triangles are not color coded. So if you notice in mine, I have two blue lines. I'm going to trace over those to show you which ones are supposed to be blue. Then I also have two green. And then I have two that are either pink or purple. And if you don't have exactly those three colors, just choose three colors of your own and make this side be blue this side be blue, or if you're using another color, just make sure these two sides are the same color, then the two bottoms are the same color, and then these two on the right side are the same color. Now another thing you need to know for this is the name of the triangle. I'm going to go ahead and write this down. Larger, A, is the first letter in this triangle. If you look over in the name for the larger triangle, the first letter is D. So I'm going to put that in the same color. These two angles are corresponding. They're in the exact same location, so they're going to be the same color. You can also see that they're blue in my video. Then when we look at the name, the next letter in the middle is B. If you look in my video, it's green. So I'm going to write it in green. I'm going to look over in the next name of the triangle. The middle letter is E, and in my video you can see that it is green as well. So I'm going to put E. Then the last two letters in the name. C is the last letter in the small triangle. F is the last letter in the big triangle. Those are also color coordinated. They are matching purple or pink. So I'm going to write those down in the same color. The letters that are the same color, these angles are exactly the same size. So A corresponds with D, B corresponds with E, and C corresponds with F. They're exactly the same. All right, let's check out the next slide. Here are the characteristics of similar figures. This is going to be the second box on your notes. These are two very, very important pieces of what you're going to learn today. So I'm going to underline, circle, or highlight. Corresponding angles are equal. 
So the angles that are in the same spot, like in our triangle some picture before, A and D were the same, so they are equal. If you remember, A was blue, I'm just going to write this over, D was blue, then B was green, E was green, C was pink or purple, and F was pink or purple. So again, this says corresponding angles are equal. That means A is equal to D. These are the exact same. B is equal to E, they're the exact same and C is equal to F. They're the exact same. The other important piece of information that you know about characteristics of similar figures is in the last sentence. It says corresponding sides are proportional. They are not equal. They're not exactly the same size, but they do have a relationship and it is proportional. We'll be moving into that later next week. So now we're going to try matching up the corresponding sides and the corresponding angles. We're going to do a couple of these together and then the video is going to let you answer some questions on your own. If you notice the small triangle, all of the angles have letters in the corner. Same thing with the big triangle, all the angles have letters. I am going to look up at the top to notice they are naming this first one R-S-T. And then the second one is called U-V-W. I'm going to write those and match up the colors. If you look at your first letter, R, the first letter, W, those match. So I'm going to write them down. R matches with U. If you want, you can even circle them with the same color. It's very important that you're color coding everything. In the middle, there's an S and a V. So I'm going to write that down next. In another color, S and V. Then at the end of the name, there's a T and a W. So I'm going to write those in the same color, T and W. Now when I go to fill in the second part of my table, all I have to do is match up these corresponding colors to say which angles are congruent or correspond with one another. If I look at my first one, there's an R and a U. So I'm going to write those down. Angle R is equal to to angle U. I'm going to let you guys fill in the other two on your own and then later there'll be a question for you to fill in the answer for that. The next thing we're going to do is look at corresponding sides. Which sides go together? So if you remember in the slide before we color coded those triangles. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make the bottom line be blue. Then the other triangle, the bottom line needs to be blue. Or I can look at my letters from R to S. That's the first and second letter. Then in my big triangle, it should be exactly the same thing, the first and second letter. That's how I know for sure that it corresponds. Once we know that those correspond, I'm going to write it in the table. Now, if it's a line segment, we're going to put a little line over the top of it. In our first triangle, we went from R to S, the first letter to the second letter. So I'm going to write that down, R to S. And it corresponds or it's similar. If I look over in my big triangle, I've color coded it blue or I can match it up in the name, the first letter to the second letter, U to V. So I'm going to write that down, line segment, U to V. I'm going to do one more of these sides with you, and then you are going to do the third one on your own. I am now going to highlight 
the middle letter to the last letter, S to T. I'm going to pick another color, S to T. I'm going to write that down, line segment, S to T. Now I'm going to look in the big triangle. I started in the middle on the small one on the name, and I went to the last letter. So if I look on the other name for the big triangle, I'm going to start in the middle and go to the end. That's letter V to letter W. So I'm going to go in the shape. I'm going to start at letter V, and I'm going to go to letter W. And I'm going to write that down. I'm going to use the similar sign because they are similar. And I'm going to put letter V and then W. You cannot put these backwards. Letter S was in the middle of the small triangle. Letter V was in the middle of the small triangle. These correspond. So if S comes first, then V has to come first when I'm talking about the other triangle. I am going to leave the third one blank for you. So later, you'll be asked to fill that in on your own for a question. If you flip over to the back of your notes page, these two triangles don't look quite as nice of a match as the last ones do. When you look at these, these triangles, one of them looks like it may be turned in another direction. So it may be kind of hard to know, hey, the bottom of this one, this one doesn't have a bottom going in the same direction. So the thing I'm gonna have to use in this triangle are these little loops in the angles. Can you see how they have a different amount of rings inside the angle? This angle only has one ring. This angle has three rings. This angle has two rings. So the way I'm going to know which one corresponds with the other is by matching up how many rings are in the angles. Okay, so we're going to start with the angle that has one little loop. Then I'm going to color code the other angle that has one little loop. So now those are both blue. I'm going to color code the next one with green. It had two loops. I'm going to find the other angle that has two loops. And then I'm going to do the angle that has three loops. And in the small triangle, I'm going to repeat the same process. I have color coded them, so now I know which ones match. I'm going to write the names of the triangles and I'm going to color code them. And I'm going to do that over here in this black space. And this time I'm going to write them one on top of the other so I can also see how nicely they match up. So in the small triangle, I have R with one loop. In the big triangle, I have U with one loop. In the small triangle, the S has two loops. And in the big triangle, the V has two loops. And then our last angles, the ones with three loops, the small triangle has T, and the large triangle has W. So now I've matched up my angles that correspond. I've color-coded them both in the diagrams, but then I've also matched them up, color-coding them when I write their names. So if we look at the table, we are going to write in what angles are corresponding. We know that these two angles are corresponding because they're both blue, but in the diagram, they both had one loop. So I'm going to put that. Angle U is exactly the same as angle R. In the middle, we have S and T when we wrote the names, or in the diagrams, those are the angles that have two loops. So I'm going to put those in. Angle S is equal to angle V. I'm going to leave this third one for you to figure out on your own and you'll be asked to enter in your answer later. If we look at the bottom row of the table, it says now we need to again match up the corresponding sides. 
Now, when we look at our diagrams, it's a little bit tricky to match those up because the shapes aren't going in the same direction. But if I look over at the name where I've written it down, I'm gonna do it just like last time. I'm gonna match up the first letter to the second letter, the first letter to the second letter. In the first box, I'm gonna write line segment R S. That was the first two letters in the small triangle. That corresponds with the first two letters in the big triangle. So I'm gonna put is similar to line segment U V. Okay, if we move on to there, my next one is in the middle, or I can go back and color code that so I know that I'm done with that one. If I make that blue, R to S is blue. And then when we look in our name, we need to start with U to V. U to V is also blue. And again, if you draw on your shapes and match your colors, these questions are extremely easy. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is take the middle letter and go to the last letter from S to T. So I'm gonna do that on my triangle from S to T. So I'm gonna put that in my chart. Line segment S to T is similar. And I need to know what order to put my next letters in. So I'm gonna look at the name. I'm gonna start in the middle, V to W. It has to be in this order. It cannot be backwards. I'm starting with the angle that has two loops and I'm going to the angle that has three loops. I'm gonna color code that. V to W. I'm gonna put line segment V to W. And again, on this one, I'm gonna leave this last one blank, and it's extremely important that you get the letters in the correct order to show how they're matching up. You might think about matching up the number of loops. So whatever letter you put first, it needs to have the same number of loops as how you start your second name, okay? If you guys have questions, please feel free to come and ask. There is no homework for the weekend. Hey, with the drums. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday.